three hundred and sixty five days, three hundred and sixty five messages God has in store for you each day. You've got mail from God by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Come, join us. Let us see what God has in store for you today. Welcome to today's devotional reading on August 15, 2022. The title of the reading is God is Your Refuge. But before we begin, let us have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us a new morning. Now that we are going to read your word, open our hearts to your voice. In the name of Jesus, amen. The scripture verse for this reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 25, verse 4. And it says, For you have been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shade from the heat. I once got to know a village on a hill. Its geographical location made it desirable for rebel groups because from there the whole region could be controlled. As a result, the civilian population of that area lived the horrors of war for a long time. First, a rebel commando operated there until a paramilitary group launched a violent attack evicting them from the area. From that moment on, they established a command post in the area. When I visited the site on one occasion, the vehicle had to pass several security checkpoints made up of men armed to their teeth. There are a good number of church members living in this region with their children. There are there because they were born there or because they have their businesses and properties there. One of the members told me about the rebels' last attempt to take the town back. They had said they would retake the town and kill all its inhabitants and burn down all the houses. It was in December. Several of the paramilitary fighters were on vacation and others were fighting in other areas. There was only a handful of men protecting the people. Somehow the rebels noticed this and decided to launch a surprise attack with a lot of men. They arranged their forces in four groups that would try to reach the summit of the hill from four different points. There were only 20 men to defend the town, so they formed four groups of five. Using bands, they mobilized it to reinforce the points where it was most needed. They fought fiercely, but the rebels exceeded them in number. The Christians in the town understood that they were in great danger, so they decided to pray to God for his help and protection. But most of the defenders of the people had fallen on the battlefield, and the destruction of the people was imminent, the unexpected happened. Two military helicopters appeared firing at the invading troops. Because of their position, the invading troops were an easy target, so they were hit by a rain of bullets fired from the aircraft. When the loss of men was immense, they decided to withdraw and give up their attempt. Once again, God was strength for his children, for the women and the little ones of that place. That strength that is God is available to you today. He is your refuge. Let us close with the word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you because you are a refuge. You are our home. You are or castle that protects us from everything. Help us throughout the day and be with us always. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you for joining us today. We pray that God blesses you, that his love embraces you, and that his presence be with you throughout the day. Have a wonderful day.